someone wanted to know about crusty eyes. Okay, we're going to talk about that. What's behind that? There's some medical terms for crusty eyes. Uh, sleep dust, eye sand, eye gunk, sleep sand, eye schnooters, or eye buggers. So the cause of this condition is a low vitamin A situation, vitamin A deficiency. When you're low in vitamin A, your eyes do dry out, but you at the same time get a thickened mucus around the eyes. It can create itchiness. So the fact that when you're sleeping all night long, you're not blinking. Now, I wanna differentiate that from the feeling like you have sand in your eye, but you don't have sand or any crust. That would be a vitamin B2 deficiency or a low blood sugar situation, hypoglycemia. Um, where does vitamin A come from? Vitamin A is a fat soluble vitamin. Um, it comes from animal products, mostly, uh, if we're talking about retinol, which is the active form of vitamin A. The pre-vitamin A, uh, beta carotene and carotenoids, which have the ability to turn into retinol, those are from plants, but the conversion is very, very low. But I do suggest consuming both animal and plant uh, versions of vitamin A. Uh, egg yolks have vitamin A, beef liver, cod liver oil is loaded with vitamin A and also vitamin D. I highly recommend this right here. Now what will create a vitamin A deficiency would be having low iron, that could do it. Or let's say you don't have the enzymes from the pancreas to digest fats, it's called lipase because the pancreas maybe is burnt out from consuming too many refined foods or consuming too many sugars or processed foods, things like that. Uh, gallbladder, if there's a gallbladder problem, if you don't have a gallbladder, if there's a liver problem, uh, you're not gonna be able to absorb the uh, full amount of vitamin A. So you can have a deficiency just from that. I've done a lot of videos in the gallbladder. I'll put a link down below for more information. Uh, alcohol will affect the liver and decrease the ability to absorb vitamin A. Also, if you have any type of IBS or irritable bowel syndrome or inflammation in your colon or damage in the colon, let's say, for example, you um, had gastric bypass where they removed part of the colon or bypassed it, or damage in the digestive system from antibiotics, that can limit your absorption of vitamin A. So these are all potential reasons that you could be vitamin A deficient despite consuming vitamin A in your diet. Or it could be that you're just not consuming vitamin A. Maybe you're a vegan and you don't consume any animal products. So you're just relying on the pre-vitamin A compounds and that could create a deficiency right there. So if you have this condition, you would wanna, number one, make sure you get it from foods. This is a good source. And then you wanna isolate the uh, factors that could be preventing the absorption. Could be any one of these. All right, thanks for watching. Hey, if you're liking this content, please subscribe now and I will actually keep you updated on future videos.